you at 642. Hispanic owned businesses in the valley continue to be among the fastest growing sector of our economy. The Latin Chamber of Commerce is working to promote Hispanic business and culture and education here in the valley. Joining us to continue our weekly in your business segment is Peter Guzman, president of the Latin Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. Nice to have you indeed. Degrees. Right? I know. Oh, it's coming. You know how fast our springs go here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so tell us, what are some of the most popular or fastest growing Hispanic owned businesses here in our community? Well, you know, certainly uh, restaurants are. Um, a big ticket item yeah. and uh, we see an, an explosion a growth that is unbelievable uh, you know it's interesting uh, Hispanic owned on Hispanic entrepreneurs and businesses open at a three time faster rate than the average in the United States and here in Nevada they fail at a two to one less rate than non Hispanic businesses I mean it's called booming for a Indeed. Wow. Well, speaking of booming, we got a lot more professional sports here in town. Uh, that's affecting a lot of different businesses, but specific to the Latino community, how are they benefiting from this? Yeah. So you know, it's interesting. Uh, the Raider Stadium, which I testified uh, in the very beginning, I was all in on on it because I could see that there was a construction boom going to be coming, and that was going to be good for my members. And uh, today we have uh, we've passed over a million man hours of work at Raider Stadium, and many are our members at the Latin Chamber of Commerce. We have a tremendous amount of, of uh, construction work going on there. Uh, a lot of the laborers union that's building that is all Latino. And so a lot of these guys were able to open up their own little small businesses and are now thriving in the construction industry. Interesting. Yeah. Um, you've spoken about being a champion of uh, Latino entrepreneurship in our state. What do you mean by that? And how does the Latin Chamber of Commerce help these businesses? Well, you know, uh, a lot of people ask me, why Why are they doing so well? Why? You, you got to understand, a lot of these Latinos, these immigrants come from countries that don't have the infrastructure set up to help small businesses like we do here. Mm -hmm. But they have to figure out a way in those countries to, to make it. So when they get here and they realize, wow, so they already come with the spirit, yeah. but then they have all this infrastructure set up to help small businesses, especially in Nevada, which is an extremely business friendly state, and Las Vegas is extremely business friendly. You know, for us, it's easy. I mean, they come to our chamber, all they need is a little assistance. Maybe I'm getting a business license. We try to explain to them how important it is to pay your taxes, do good filing, because that way they can become part of, part of FICO and, and credit and get a little better access to cash and uh -huh. to capital, which they unfortunately don't have right now. Um, but we're working on that. We're working on that in many initiatives. Uh, very quickly, we're almost out of time, but you mentioned former Mexican President Vincente Fox was just in town yeah. yesterday. Mm -hmm. You guys are working on something. What's, what's in the pipeline? Yeah, so former President Vicente Fox, and a, and a very popular president in uh, Mexico at the time, and still very popular, uh, we're, we're going to be announcing some big immigration and education initiatives. Mm -hmm. uh, he has an a, a organization called Centro Fox, and uh, so, you know, I had, we had a meeting. And I put together some meetings with him and the university presidents that went very, very well. And uh, stay tuned. Okay. Maybe I'll be back to talk about that. You will Sounds be good. back to talk I about so. it. <laughs> Peter, thanks for coming in this morning. We appreciate it. Uh, it's a pleasure it. uh, to, to be here. And thank you for caring about the Latino community. Of course. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much.